Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. You're so like the lady with the mystic smile. Is it only cause you're lonely they have blamed you for that Mona Lisa strangeness? in your smile. Hi, we are here today with jazz vocalist Annie Selleck. Annie has worked with many artists such as Joey DeFrancesco, Pat Bergeson, uh, Bella Fleck, Mark O'Connor, and um, who else? So Tommy Emmanuel. Mm, that's a good one. That's a highlight. Uh, <laughs> great jazz drummer named Jeff Hamilton. Oh, that's his wonderful. Trio. Yeah. You were also voted Nashville's um, best jazz vocalist for five years in a row by the Nashville scene. Um, so Annie, tell us how you got started into music. I sat in totally cold with a jazz guitar player who recently passed away. Hmm. His name is Roland Gresham. Mm -hmm. Gosh, in 1995. I sat in with his band and he hired me on the spot and I, I worked with him for four years. He was one of my first influences and wow. that got me started. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty amazing. It was in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, yes. in, a, in a dive bar called The Burrow. Oh, I like it. And I worked there every Sunday for four years with Roland Gresham and, and, and then came to Nashville from there. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm from Nashville originally. Okay, okay. I'm homegrown <laughs> and I uh, started working with B.G. Adair. We yeah. had a Thursday night gig, a wonderful piano player uh, at F. Scott's every yes. Thursday. And then, you know, around 2004, I started hitting California and Montreal and New York and then Japan and That's Europe great. and it's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. All started right here in my home state. <laughs> <laughs> So Annie, I know you have a lot of influences um, from different people. Tell us about some of those. Yeah. I'd have to say my biggest influences are people that I've known personally. Okay. People that I've worked with, like mm -hmm. the ones that I mentioned getting started with mm -hmm. Roland Gresham, B.G. Adair, a great piano player, a young guy named Gerald Clayton that mm -hmm. I worked with for a long time. Influences on how I might craft my show, mm -hmm. uh, the way we treat the jazz standards in our own special way, putting right. our own stamp on it. But influences for jazz vocal style, I'd have to say, of course, Ella Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. Billie Holiday, Sarah Vaughan. Yeah. But my favorite was Anita O'Day. Have you ever hmm. heard of her? I have heard of her. Yeah, she's not as well known as some of the others, but Anita O'Day just, my jaw dropped when <laughs> I first saw a video of her and I said, that's what I want to do. That's awesome. I love her rhythmic sense. Mm -hmm. I love her playfulness mm -hmm. and, uh, and her just taking risks. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Então, em Pedro eu pedi o caminho, o resto de tocou eu pouco sozinho. É um caco de vidro, é um vidinho só. É a noite cheia, amor cheio, um laço, um anzó. É ter um bar tão eu não lá madeira. Anda, candeira, eu tinto pereira. Eu madeiro de canto, no lugar e bom ser. É um mistério profundo, é que era, não é que era. Well, Annie, tell us about um, using your voice as a musical instrument. Okay. that's In jazz, that's a very cool thing mm -hmm. because jazz singers a lot of times do think musical instrument, especially trumpet or saxophone mm -hmm. when they're scatting. You've yeah. heard of scat. You're familiar with that. So, you know, so this kind of thing. They are thinking like mm -hmm. a horn player. Mm -hmm. I don't do a lot of that in my shows because I like lyrics and telling a yeah. story. But I have been... Um, 
getting singers together in what's called singing circle, mm. where we are the vocal, vocal, vocals only, instrumentation for each other. So mm. somebody might sing a rhythmic line and mm. then somebody will join in with something like a bass line mm. that loops around. And then somebody will put another part on top of that, another part on top of that. There might be no words. It's like a drum circle of voices. I love it. Yeah, it's really fun, singing circle. That's awesome. Yeah. Hello. I thought I'd give a little demonstration on some elements of jazz vocals. Uh, one would definitely be swing rhythm. So let me give you a demonstration of that. Let's take You Are My Sunshine, which is usually, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. And in jazz, we go, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Hear that? That swing. All right, so another common element of jazz vocals would be phrasing. And it's cool because you can take a line in a song and move it around in different ways of how you want to express it. So I'm going to give you a line from Lullaby of the Leaves. Cradle me where southern skies can watch me with a million eyes. Okay, you could also go... Cradle me where southern skies can watch me with a million eyes. Or cradle me where southern skies can watch me with a million eyes. And you may have noticed at the end of my examples, one of the things I've noticed in jazz singers is there's a little vibrato at the end of the line, a little vibrato at the tail end of can watch me with a million eyes hear that that's a little bit of jazz um well tell us in your opinion what is different between um say a jazz um singer's vocals versus um some other genre of music okay um i would say rhythm being swing mm -hmm. primarily mm -hmm. Is, is in there and, and learning to sing in, in that kind of a way. Yeah. So the rhythm, I would say phrasing, because there's a wonderful opportunity in jazz to phrase a lyric and put it in different places, accenting on different words yeah. or part of it being spoken. But I think one of the, the main signature thing about jazz vocals is a vibrato at mm. the end of a line. Mm -hmm. You know, you never come straight in with vibrato. Yeah. It's never totally flat. But it seems to me all jazz singers have a little vibrato at the very tail end of their line. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Where, where is love? Does it fall from skies above? Is it underneath the willow tree that I've been dreaming of? Where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where is he? Well, Annie, tell us about um, some of the things that are coming up for you. Um, where can we see you perform? Tell us about your website. And um, okay. I think you have a new CD out, right, too, don't you? Yeah, my newest baby is called Street of Dreams. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of that. It's available on iTunes. Okay. And my website, like you mentioned, AnnieSellick.com. Okay. Come see me there. <laughs> um, some, some, some of my projects for this, this year that I'm excited about are running some singers' retreats. Mm where we do the improvisational singing circle. Yes. And I just love getting singers together because so often we're fronting our own bands. Mm -hmm. And this is a chance for singers to be musical instrumentation yeah. with their voices for each other. That's great. Have you ever heard of Bobby McFerrin? I have. Yeah, he does all this, that crazy yeah. vocalizing stuff. Anyway, so that's really fun. I'm excited about the retreats. They're in Middle Tennessee, mm -hmm. they're great. Um, I sing with the Nashville Jazz Orchestra Big Band. Mm -hmm. Uh, regularly Great. and I'm excited about more big band work nice. coming up uh, projects there and then also with my husband and fantastic guitarist and harmonica mm -hmm. player Pat Bergeson yes we're <laughs> working up some duo stuff cool. to take on the road cool. 
I'm excited about that. Some writing, songwriting. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's a great life. <laughs> well, Amy, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. I've been really looking forward to this interview. Well, me too. It's been <laughs> great. Thank you. What makes your lips taste sweet every time we kiss? Well, maybe it's because of love. What makes your charm is so, baby, I can't resist? Well, maybe it's because of love. What makes my flesh start? When you hold me tight, what makes me squeeze you so gently with all my might? What makes me frown at you, baby, when you say goodnight? Well, maybe it's because of